Here's a look at Sun Lube Black TPU Filament. All right, so here is the packaging for the Sun Lu Black TPU. Pretty much the same packaging for all of their stuff on the outside. And it's obviously like a half kilogram spool, not a full kilogram. Uh, but uh, nicely sealed. Good Sulka pack in there. And, uh, pretty good tight winding. And uh, very, very flexible bendy. Of course, that whole idea, of course, but it definitely is bendy and uh, comes with the recommended print temp. I'll do a temp tower and start doing some other stuff and see how it turns out. All right, so I have been printing the Sun Lu Black TPU for a few days here and uh, been really, really having some fun with it. The uh, first thing I did was temp tower and as you can see, there's really kind of a tight, sweet spot there for for, uh, for printing. Obviously this is below uh, recommended, uh, I think they recommend 200 to 230, 220, somewhere in that range. Um, I actually went with 205, um, which is uh, cooler than most TPUs I've been doing, but uh, just seems like it adheres really well there. And uh, without really messing with my TPU profile there for retraction, I'm very happy with that. Tiny you know, little hairs there um, that you see on a couple prints, but by and large, hardly noticeable. So I did not see any reason to really fiddle with recalibrating anything there. Very, very happy with that. Uh, pretty my obligatory um, little Lego cube, probably a little too much um, solidness in there to make it really squishy, but uh, hardly anything going on with hairs there. Uh, held together really well, good old Benchy, which I thought looked pretty, pretty good, not, you know, not perfect. Uh, didn't really fiddle with anything, so this was just kind of going with my standard TPU profile, and, um, you know, worked okay. Uh, I like doing a filament swatch, which is just crazy to have a bendable uh, filament swatch. Obviously, the bridging doesn't quite work as well there, and I didn't really um, mess with that too much either, but uh, just kind of using it. The way I'm normally printing TPU, I did do a flow calibration and uh, found it actually um, needed a little bit more flow than some of my other TPU that I had to really dial way, way back, so uh, this was pretty actually close to about the uh, rate that I push uh, T, uh, PLA, so that was good to find out early, so I didn't have under extrusion going on. Um, made a few little projects here, there's going to be a bumper under something to just try to make it a little less uh, slippery. Some can lids back here that, uh, you know, fitting on metal cans to have in the refrigerator, so they worked out really well. Um, it's an interesting little bumper doodad for a, for a science project for the class I teach there. Uh, printed, I think, in this position, and thought it turned out really, really well. Just what I need. Um, I always print these with TPU, little things for uh, grippies for your pencils, and uh, thought it turned out well. Uh, first time I've actually done the flexible octopus, but it just been something I've been meaning to do and I uh, thought it turned out pretty well. Printed it fairly um, low, um, thin, <clears throat> lighter height there and uh, was happy with that. Um, did some feet for one of my printers. And thought that turned out well and started playing with some uh, zip tie 
kind of things that actually worked really, really well. This one actually is, uh, you can release it once it goes in there, but worked really well. I thought it uh, printed just what it was supposed to. And very, very, very happy with that. Uh, the one thing I did try to just push it was uh, for one of those fidget things. It's got the little hinge in there. Um, printed okay shape-wise, but uh, being able to snap that um, piece in there to actually make it spin is uh, just not happening. So it will obviously really stand up to a lot of twisting here and come right back, but it's just not going to snap that hinge in there. It just so without fiddling with it more to uh, give a little bit more of a gap. I just thought it'd be fun to see if it could actually work. Um, good to know. Maybe with some experimentation would work, but I thought it uh, did a good job with the shape here. So there are the few things that came to mind when I uh, when I got going with this. Uh, a few things I needed, a few things that were just for goofy, crazy little fun. But um, I'm loving it. Did, uh, did really well. Some of the best uh, TPU I've used thus far. So there it is, Sunlu Black TPU. Hope this is a helpful look. Happy printing.